No, Lord Jesus. They remember like it was yesterday. They shot him in the head. They shot him in the head. Daryl Harrison II. His last words was, I love you, Mom. Was attacked in a Camp Springs restaurant on Temple Hills Road last year in May. My 20-year-old son, who I love dearly, had been shot and killed. He just went to go buy food. And that was the most hardest part to deal with. The courts determined Rashid Edwards was the man who pulled the trigger. He didn't even care about his own life, more or less my son's life. Edwards was sentenced to 120 years in prison. <laughs> Harrison is remembered as kind. The Suitland High School grad loved to play basketball and video games, and he had plans to become a mechanic. He stayed away from any major trouble, learning from his dad, who spent several years behind bars. But I didn't kill nobody, take nobody's life. I, you know, want to make some money. But the point was, I didn't want him to be like dad. And that's what I was showing him, don't be like dad. I told him. I got you. Anything happens right here, your voice will be heard. It may not be yours, but you, whatever you're thinking, it will be said. These parents are now speaking on behalf of their son using this truck. Stop the killing. And the Daryl Hairston II Foundation, where they hope to mentor young people, help other victims' families, and advocate for stronger laws. I got a pain and grief that was delivered to my door. And then I'm going to help others. Reporting in Prince George's County, Michael Quander. Your killing will not be in vain. WUSA 9.